everybody, so exciting new review for you guys today. We're talking about the latest Bong Joon-ho film, Parasite. This is a film I've been looking forward to for such a long time, just because hearing so much great buzz coming out of the festivals and other critics saying it's one of the best films of the year, it won the Grand Prize Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, It's it's been getting a lot of really great buzz, and Bong Joon-ho is a phenomenal director. I actually probably prefer more of his Korean films than his American ones, although I do like all of them. I do think that Mother and The Host are just a little bit better, but it's been a very long time since he's made a Korean film. I think it's best to see this film not knowing too much about it, but to summarize it briefly, it centers around a whole family they're unemployed they take interest in this very wealthy family due to their money and their livelihood and they hatch this plot to entangle themselves with the family with this kind of buzz around this film you have to think does it really live up to the hype I actually do think it's one of those films that does live up to the hype I think it's one of the best films actually of the year if not the best the film has such a great blend of so many different genres specifically the thriller genre and the comedic genre it's one of those things where you think of all these genres blending together in a film usually they wouldn't work but in this one it really does the script is so well written the film has the perfect amount of drama, comedy, scary elements woven into its story, keeping you interested and invested the entire time you're watching it. All the characters in the film are very interesting too. They get a lot of development. They're all really great performances as well. I've never seen any of these actors in anything else before, but they really impressed me. This is one of those rare films where pretty much every character scene line of dialogue is important in one way or another. Even if it takes a while to wrap back around to it, it eventually does and it makes sense. It's just really great writing. This is probably one of the best screenplays of the whole year. The cinematography is some of my favorite of the year as well. Just so many great, well frame shots, gorgeous looking houses and alleyways and streetways, perfect lighting. Even the production design as well, like of the actual house the rich people live in is just gorgeous to look at. It's just one of those movies I hope that a lot of that is taken into consideration or come awards season just because like this movie has so many excellent qualities about it. It's also one of those movies that touches on a lot of themes, you know, with class and all that. It's really interesting the messages that are thrown out in this movie and it's one of those movies that's really going to linger with you for a while I feel like if depending on what side of the spectrum you're on you're going to get something out of this movie I know there are a lot of people out there that aren't really into watching movies foreign films with subtitles but I definitely suggest you try and give this movie a chance I think this is definitely one of the more easy films to digest when it comes to a film that's foreign that has subtitles I think if you're one of those people that are skeptical about that definitely still try and check it out it's gonna be worth your money but yeah overall I really love this movie it's definitely going to stick with me for a while it's easily one of the best films I've seen so far in 2019 it's phenomenal on so many levels from its performance, its screenplay, production design. It really keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire movie. It's just really well-crafted cinema. It's one of those movies that makes you really appreciate movies as a whole. It's one of those experiences. Bong Joon-ho made another really amazing film. If you haven't seen any of his other films before, if you've seen this and this is your first Bong Joon-ho film, I definitely recommend checking out many of his other films in his filmography because he's made some really great films, if I'm being honest. He's one of the best ones working today. Now you've heard my thoughts on Parasite. Make sure leave a comment in the comment section down below what did you think of the film when you check it out i know the release schedule is a little bit wonky i know it's been out for a while in australia you know it's making its rounds around different festivals and it's slowly being rolled out in the u.s i'm not sure yet about the europe i think they're getting it in a couple months unfortunately but if you've seen the film let's get a discussion in the comments because you know i like come about all things movies here but also what would you say is your favorite bong joon ho film because you got so many to choose from if you've seen them definitely let me know what your favorite one is if it's parasite that's cool too but if it's not and you haven't seen it you know you can pick a different film but as always, thank you so much for checking out our reviews. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you want to keep the reviews, trailer reactions, unboxings, and more. But until the next time, I'll see you guys later.